Dead musky. <laughs> what are you doing, bud? Just drain the snake. <laughs> you stoked? I'm so stoked. What are, what are you, what's, go, your, what's your goal today? My goal is to catch a fish. Um, preferably one of them that like looks like a log, you know? They've got big teeth and kind of look like an alligator. Um, but, you know, that's that's the goal. So this is Kyle, by the way. No one on my channel has ever met you before, so say hi. Nice to meet you. There we go. Everyone. Cool. Yeah. Um, so what are, yeah. what are we fishing for? Where, where are we? Can you give me a little summary? It's a great question. Um, we're on the border of Canada and Maine. Uh, Canada's right there. Maine's right here. And uh, we're going to be fishing for some musklunge. <laughs> musklunge. A.K.A. musky. We're going to be throwing... Uh, these guys right here. I'm not really sure what this is called, but it's looks like a yellow perch. Uh, it's probably about nice 12 inches and 100 pound braid and 100 pound mono leader. And hopefully that's good enough. But you know, yeah, those things are serious. That, yeah. that is that's not Definitely. not a joke. Yeah. We're, not, we're not going white bass fishing. No, we're not. We're not on Bridgeport right now. About to do some some doinking, but. Welcome back guys. We are in Maine right now um, with the boys. I'm super stoked. We've got John, Kyle, Zach, and then um, we, Ryan is also here, another one of John's buddies. So we are about to put in, what's this river even called? St. John River. So, you know, like Kyle was saying, Canada is literally right across on the other side. So we are about to put the boats in. Me and Zach are gonna be in our own boat. To start off and then John Ryan and Kyle are gonna be in the other boat John just got a new boat it's pretty sick so I'm super stoked but we're about to put the boats in and get after it so how's that all right well we are gonna start off trying to catch a couple smallmouth since I know a little bit more about bass fishing than, you know, musky, pike, and all these other toothy critters that live up here. So we're just gonna start, you know, real simple with the basics. We got a jig with a kraken crawl in the back. So we're gonna hit this kind of rocky bank and see if we can get into a couple smallmouth and then mess with the pike. All right, we're at spot. Oh, geez. What the? Spot number oh, doe, say. Anyways, as I was saying, we're at spot number 69. Um, it's actually the same spot. We haven't really, you know, left at all. Um, so this trolling motor doesn't have spot lock. And when you are in a river that is going that way, the boat also goes that way. So it's kind of hard to, you know, fish the same spot, like sit in a good spot and fish it. The wind is also going this way. So everything's just going this way. So it's hard to like sit here and, you know, like fish a spot. So you kind of just gotta go with it, but it's all good. I and mean, you can just like keep the nose this way and then just like barely let us like drift. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. All right, I just figured I'd give y'all a little update on the big camera real quick. Um, so John's got this handy dandy, there's Zach, you know, doing his thing. Z John's got this handy dandy uh, Garmin on here. It's a uh, you know, nice piece of equipment, oh, but, oh, we're going, <laughs> it's, it's been sending us in circles the whole entire time. So we have it on spot lock right now because, you know, we're in a river and there's, there's current 
the foot pedal doesn't work so we have to use this which is the remote and you know in theory that would be fine that'd be great but watch we're about to go in another circle <laughs> like look watch just <laughs> i'm not moving at all this is just the trolling motor is sending us in circles so zach and i have been just ripping around in circles all day <laughs> oh god <laughs> <laughs> this, yeah, this is how our day's gone. So it's been a lot of fun. My first day fishing in Maine. I'm yeah, this is start. so this is Zach's first time ever being in Maine, let alone fishing. This is just this is his first experience, and it's been honestly god awful. I, I mean, we're having fun. Like, you got to make the most of it. It's yeah, like see, we're still spinning in circles. Like this is hilarious, but it's very hard to catch a fish when you're doing this because. Like I said earlier, the wind's blowing like 15, whipping us down with the current, and then we're sitting here spinning in circles. So it's very difficult, but we're, we're, we're trying. We're trying to catch smallmouth, you know, barracudas, you know, barramundi, tuna. tuna, tarpon, the tarpon, you know, no, I'm just kidding. None of that's happening. But we are trying to catch fish, but we're just going in circles. Um, I got to reposition the spot lock and try to get it figured out because we're about to slam into some rocks if we keep going in circles like this. I'm also going to puke if this doesn't happen. Yeah. I get motion sickness very easily. <laughs> but we <laughs> John's over there in his, you know, brand new boat, just having the freaking time of his life, I'm sure. Like, just doing his thing way, way over yonder. But it could be worse, you know? It could be. We could be doing a lot of other things that just suck, and so this isn't the worst thing we could be doing. At least we're on the water. Yeah, yeah. we're out here. Up there, all sitting down, maybe. Giving her hell, the... but yeah. <laughs> Going in another circle, but yeah, you get the point. This sucks, but we're having fun. So I just wanted to hope. Hopefully, I'll get a laugh out of that. I thought it was hilarious. So. Oh jeez. <laughs> So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go with the oven baked ham and then we have some provolone. Can't go wrong with some provy. And then we got some, uh, what was it sourdough? What are we rocking with here? Classic sourdough wraps. That's beautiful. <laughs> so, and we got cookies. Dude, we're set, hold on. Where's the sauce? We need the secret right. sauce. You grabbed it? No, here, hold on. Let me show the people. <laughs> this this is here let me blur blur this out because we can't have people knowing but it's the secret sauce you know what's funny is you can say it's the secret sauce and people will be confused what it is but it's literally it's the secret sauce, the secret sauce. The dough, so I've, i saw a tiktok about these is was this a you purchase or was this ryan, this is a ryan i think it's a ryan purchase let's let's review them real quick I mean, not bad. It's donut bread with uh, powdered sugar on it, so it's nice. Like, Can't go wrong with that. That is last enough to be pretty good. Your water footage with that, Kyle. <laughs> Yeet it, right front, front, front side. Look, it's fine right here. Look. No, just get it to me. I'm gonna catch it. Not, yeah. Let's go. Here we go. You ready? I got it on the chesty. All right. What the f was that? You know they sink, right? They have liquid in them. Get the net. Get the net. Oh! <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> That's the catch of the day right there. It's the biggest thing I've caught. <laughs> I just kind of wanted to go over real quick some of the ridiculous baits that we're throwing to try to catch this fish, these fish. Um, Doc and I both have been kind of throwing similar baits. It's like big swim baits with 
extra long curly tails, like just stuff that you would like think was a joke, like that you wouldn't normally throw, especially if you're just a bass angler. It's like you look at it and you're like, you're you're kidding me, like there's no way. But like, I mean, you all know what whopper ploppers are, but then that takes this takes the whopper plopper to the next level. Like it's absolutely insane. This thing pushes a ton of water, just makes a ton of commotion. And it just really pisses fish off. Um, we threw this a little bit right when we first got out here, but um, I don't know. I kind of think I don't really know if they're really keying in on the like if they're really looking up right now. I kind of think they're they're sitting down in current and just looking into the current, waiting for fish to come into them. Um, so what I'm about to put on is just this little swim bait with a treble hook in the belly. Um, what I was throwing a second ago, <laughs> not that, um, was was this, and it's basically like a giant jerk bait, and it had one of those soft curly tails on it. But um, I got thumped, and as a result, tail got yeeted off. Um, the, these fish have really sharp teeth probably one of the I think they are the, they have the sharpest teeth out of any freshwater fish if I was guessing that I know of in the states anyways but um, so yeah this is kind of I don't really know this is John so I don't really you know I don't really care that much screw him but <laughs> his bait's kind of messed up right now I'm just kidding that, that does suck but um, so that's why I'm kind of switching over to this it's more just like your classic swim bait I don't know. I mean, I honestly have no idea what I'm doing. John just gave me a bunch of baits and was like, good luck. So, um, I'm going to throw this on. There's basically what we're doing right now is we're fishing this rock, rock point, and the current kind of like rips and like wraps around it. And that's where we got our bites were right when it comes out. And so I think what the fish are doing is they're sitting in like kind of the, the slow water and just watching that current because bait fish will kind of get in that current and rip by and that's when they'll jump on them and attack so hopefully um, we can get another bite next um, we've had a couple bites today um, just nothing full on committal john john did catch one earlier like like 15th cast he got one real quick right off the bat so we are going to keep casting and they call this the fish of 10,000 casts, and I think I'm gonna get there by the end of this trip for sure, because these things suck. They're hard. I have a lot of respect for the guys that go out here and catch these fish all the time, but we're gonna give this guy a go and see what happens. Drop it, drop it, drop it, drop it. That's a big one. Dude, drop it. Figure eight, figure eight, figure eight. That's a big one. That's a big one. It's a giant, dude. Giant. Giant. Did you see him? Yeah. Giant. I wasn't Absolute giant, dude. Oh, they're here. Damn it. That thing was huge. That was the biggest, like, I don't know. That was huge. It was bigger than John's. Like, way bigger than John's. I'm going to figure it out, bro. Hold on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hold on, hold on. Let him, let him go. Let him go. Let him fight. Let him oh fight. My. That was huge. <laughs> Everything that could have gone wrong with the net went wrong. It got caught in the eyelets of this and then to the. Well, boys and girls, we we gave it gave it our best shot. It was. It wasn't horrible. We I learned a lot first time doing this ever, um, but 
I missed one. Zach missed one. Zach lost one at the boat. You know, it, it was, it, it wasn't bad. It was good. We, we connected with fish. It, we had fun. Drank some twisted teas, ate some wraps, had a good time with the boys. Um, but we are gonna head back to the house now, um, to the cabin that we're staying at, and we are gonna try to figure out something to do tomorrow. I think we might come back here, or there's some lakes right around here that are pretty good, so I'm not really sure what the plan is. That is all for today. Y'all are about to see day number two, so hopefully we catch some fish tomorrow. Y'all are gonna know a lot faster if we catch fish than I will, because I have to like go to bed and stuff and you know wait like 12 hours for that to happen. But by the way, random thought of the day, it gets sunrises at 4.30 in the morning here. 4.30. Not cool, it's too early. But yeah, okay, catch you tomorrow, peace.